31st of Halloween. And Sophia is live at the mall now with the local author. who has got a book on that theme, right? That's right, Steve. And just to kind of get in on the facts, because I love giving everyone at home some facts, it's studies show that reading to kids at very young ages really helps them develop a lot faster. Joining us now is local author Mark Dickinson. Thank you so much, Mark, for coming out here. Um, so first, let's talk about this Halloween book. Okay. Well, let's well, talk about why you picked Halloween. Um, well, I, Halloween's a favorite subject of mine, but uh, actually I, I wrote the book uh, uh, for a Christmas story because uh -huh. I, I don't really celebrate Christmas, but I want my kids to, you know, not feel left out of the situation. So um, there's a part in the book where, uh, you know, he, there's a line where he measures man's deeds and, you know, and I, so I thought that, uh, you know, it'd be good for the kids. You know, they do good deeds, you write them down, and the more stuff you get, the more you do, you know, so. Right. So what is this book about? What is the overall message that you want kids to get out of this well, book? The overall message is basically, you know, uh, give and you'll get in return, you know, but you have to give to get anything back, you know, so right. hopefully uh, a little sharing, a little good deeds, you know. So do we, let's. We do want to uh, kind of flip through the pages of this book right here. Okay. Well, that's the new release. Um, we'll open some up and we'll kind of just read through a few of the spots. This one, I think, was yeah. probably the best that summed yeah. up the book. What does it say? Make sure what was taken was replaced with bountiful seeds. So, you know, if you take from the land, give back, and then it'll give back in return. Yeah. You know? And the artwork is done by uh, Christopher Urban. He's a local artist and a musician. And, it's uh, pretty cool. It's a you know, I, artwork. I really can't thank him enough for doing a fabulous job on this. And this know. is called The Pumpkin King. Yeah. So when is it going to be released? When It'll can people... Released, um, October 23rd. It'll be available uh, on my website. I'm also doing a, a signing, meeting, meet, meet and greet, greet. Uh -huh. yeah, at the Barnes & Nobles October 23rd as well uh, at 6.30 to 8.30. Um, You'll be able to get the book, meet me, chat me up, have a good time. And there's another book. Yep, Let's yep. talk about this book. Okay. Is this kind of creepier, a little yeah, bit more Halloween style? Yeah, this is more What's it about? Uh, this is about The Last Vampire. You know, the, the vampire story's been overdone so many times, and I thought I'd throw a different twist on it. And, uh, you know, when man evolved, you know, man left the caves. So what if some didn't leave the caves and they evolved into a different being? Which, uh, so they got to buy the book to find the rest yeah, out. Basically. basically yeah. <laughs> and then really quickly, there's going to be other authors yeah, yeah. at this place. Yeah. Tell us. Uh, there's also going to be uh, Catherine Carlson, Dwight Kempler, uh, Mike Hudick, M uh, Martin Bindi, Libby Tucker, uh, Betty Williams, and a It'll few others. It'll be a others. packed house. Oh, yeah. A be lot great. of... Should be great for yeah. you guys to meet and greet some great authors. Thank you so much well, for coming for out here. Good and luck with everything. So and it's down. free.